I'm Furin and today I'd like to tell you how to make trays for your army. I'll uh, describe how to make the ordinary tray and the skirmish tray. So yeah, let's get the ball rolling. So first of all, why shouldn't you use Games Workshop trays? I find Games Workshop trays to be of a very poor quality and they are made of a very special kind of resin, a one that doesn't really stick well to a glue. So after you decide to decorate your resin case workshop original woman tray, then after some time the glue with the sand grains will just fell off the tray. So the material that I use is the high density fiber board, the HDF board. So um, you can get this in most of your local shops with wood supplies as well as in your local carpenter. I get my supply from a carpenter, I can also order uh, to have it cut into pieces and, and shapes that I want, so... Oh, and it's really, really cheap, obviously. So the first thing that you need to do when you decide to make your own trays is to decide on the si size of such a tray. You need to remember that you have to add some extra space for edges of such a tray. Um, I add a 6mm to both length and width and this is my total size of a tray. So the next step is to put the matches around the edge of a tray. I use wood glue to glue them in and if you add those six millimeters the two matches so this one and this one has a total width of about five millimeters so this leaves one millimeter in between the units because uh, in most cases your models won't be neatly standing next to each other so Having this one extra millimeter uh, really helps you rank them up correctly. Once you have that, the next step would be to add some details to the, to the tray and to make it look however you want it to look. This is uh, how my trays look. So they have some uh, pieces of a brick here, all discovered in sand and some Games Workshop grass on the, on the top of it, after painting that is. So this is quite easy. The next step is the skirmish basis. I also use HDF board as a basis, but I glue the uh, pattern on the top of it. And once I have this nice pattern, I can put, a ma put matches around each of those squares. So the finished tray looks more or less like this, and as you can see it has nice neat holes for each of your skirmishing models. The trays that I do for skirmishing units have a half inch uh, between the inner square and the outer square so if you have for example let's say three Pegasus Knights you can only use such a small tray and if you want to have them in a single line that you put the second guy here and the third guy over here but if you want to have them in a formation like two by one it is also quite simple with such a tray because uh, you have one guy here and second guy here. So uh, if you had a tray that is for destined for three spaces and then you want for gaming reasons put one guy in the behind then you end up with a tray that is hard to maneuver with. For units such as Teradans or, 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 or Pegasus Knights or Salamanders or anything really that comes in a uh, group of one to three models I I prefer to have such a small tray instead of a real. So in the video description you'll find the link to uh, patterns like this. Uh, I think it is faster to just print them and glue them on the surface on which you want to do your tray. In another case you would have to draw those lines and it is very time consuming. So I think that this method is, is efficient. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.